It'll happen. Rejoice, sisters, for Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garbs and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? Then you know as well as Umberly that blood must soon be shed. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Yes. Thank the Wave Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. That privilege is not yours to earn. The beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return. And the beast master's demise. Glorious wave. Poor... Ah, oh, sure. In fact, we fished her out of the water. Me and Fleer here were out on the water casting our nets, expecting to find the usual crop of halibut. Then, all of a sudden, my net starts dragging, and there's a bloody wave serving all twisted up in it. We took her back to the docks to try and help her, but she was already dead. The other wave servants came to get it. Uh, her. Sorry. <laughs> they took her back to the temple. Can hear the bloody caterwauling from here. We both saw some sort of wake moving towards the docks when we picked her up. But there weren't any other boats around. Maybe it was something big moving underwater. I don't know. It was weird, whatever it was. Kind of looked like it might have been heading towards that building across the channel. Actually... Bugger if I know. Might be something to do with all that oil in the water. It's too bad we can't sell them. Bloody waste, if you ask me. The port's fine, but the nets are in tatters. Need to deal with all this oil before we can fix them, though. You were to administer Umberly's justice. Instead, you conspire with the abomination. He who sickened the harbor with blood so black, the sea itself chokes! Gods, they're not. You have to help me. Step out of the way. Protect him, and Umberly will swallow you whole. What? Mate, you've got to be kidding. Come quietly. The Sea Queen will judge you. I surrender, all right. You wouldn't hurt a harmless man, right? And you, thanks for nothing, prick. 
It's over! It's finally over! We're safe! You have done the Bitch Queen's house a great deed. I pray that when you die, your lungs are blessed with her salted kit. Seems your actions have earned you an enemy and a fight. to administer Umbali's justice. Instead, you conspire with the abomination. He who sickened the harbor with blood so black, the sea itself chokes. Gods, they're not. You have to help me. Step out of the way. Protect him, and Umbali will swallow you whole. Your lies won't save you. Give us the abomination or be counted as his ally. Then you've made... Gods, what a bloody day. I need a drink, a nap, and a holiday. Thanks to you, I'll live long enough to do all three. Here, at least I can do.
Now, get all these folks out of here before you get me into even more trouble. <laughs> 